scheme I brush the colors across the scene The image of you takes over me on your wall. Here we are in Sherman Oaks. Beautiful day, probably one of the hottest days of the year. Welcome to MRG Fine Art. We're here at the opening for Louis Cruz Beltran. Paint the Rhythm. This is his wonderful work. Going to be exhibiting um, tonight. Talk to the Hand, which is on Louis uh, Cruz's CD, Paint the Rhythm. Really a great, beautiful piece with vibrant colors. Just such beautiful artwork. I started off playing conga drums and, and, and bongos, uh, percussion music when I was a child. My mother taught me how to sing in harmony and so forth. She was a great singer. Actually, it's the music is the root uh, that can, uh, you know, bring birth to different branches in the arts. And that's what happened to me, I guess. You know, that's the best way I can announce it is that the music was the beginning of my imagination, opening and loving the arts and sharing with people my music. It just extended into uh, acting, dancing, and, and art, and drawing, and um, basically that's, I, I find it very uh, advantageous that when you start off with a, uh, any element of the arts, that's the root and your branches will start to share with the other disciplines and the other uh, um, provis, uh, improvisational skills that, that the other um, um, art forms have. And I saw the performance of for, with Louie and his group at the time, and I just, it just knocked my socks off. And I went backstage and I said to Oscar, wow, who, who is this? I mean, because he was playing all original music. And that's what differentiated him from your typical regular Latin jazz band. institutions, our schools, for our young children to continue to give them the opportunity to use their imagination, their creativity through the arts. It is so important and yet you see people talk about it every day. It's so easy to say. It's as easy as saying I love you, right? But do we really love? It's easy to say, yeah, we got to do this for our schools, but we need to push it, whatever it takes. Go to the uh, PTA, go to any avenue that you know to put pressure on schools to keep kids, to use their creativity and their imagination. Because that's what happened to me. I could have been a, 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 a great gangster. Uh, I had, I, I, really, I'm pretty smart. I think I could have done a lot of damage. You know? uh, I made a lot of money. Uh, definitely much more money than I do in the arts. But nevertheless, this is a passion. This is something that has, does not calibrate itself by the amount of money you make. It's about fulfilling something that's inside of you. When young kids go to school, like myself, and you, and you get involved in the arts, you get involved, all of a sudden, something comes up where you are actually starting to use your imagination. You, you're starting to create things, and it's coming from you. 
and you share it with people. And that has a big, big difference in a young man from the barrio where I came from. I worked in the fields, I picked, I picked grapes. I know what it is uh, to, to be in that world. And so a lot of these pictures that you see, these paintings, are reflections of my life. And I'm so glad they're only reflections and that I'm not back there doing it. It's hard work. And I thank God because he gave me the opportunity to take my music as the root of this tree that I have in my life. And that root, it brought up new branches, branches of dancing, branches of, of acting, branches of singing, uh, comedy. This is what, what the arts do. It, maybe the root would be, in my brother's case, he, his was acting. He loved to act. He loved it. He was in theater since he was a kid. And he's also an excellent guitarist and pianist. And he writes and he does all kinds. Why? Because the origin of the root grows and, it, and it's spliced into different categories. Because once your imagination, your creativity come along, you never know where it's going to take you. So here is the Renaissance guy, as Anastasia said. I don't know if it's a Renaissance guy or Renaissance. I don't even know how to say the word. <laughs> Nevertheless, I, I am very, very happy to be here. That's a little bit about my history. There's so much to it, as you can see with all this gray hair, I should have a lot to talk about. But nevertheless, this theme is called Paint the Rhythm. And I want to do a little rhythm for you, uh, Afro-Cuban rhythms that are part of my culture, part of my, my, my family, and so forth. Okay. But here we go, cha-cha-cha, okay? No. What you want? 